Let's get it. All right. What's up, fam? This is Dr. Matt up in our home, the fit, ready to get this episode five of Workout Wednesday kicked off. Technically, our second official fitness vlog. So, guys, I'm pumped to take you through this journey because, really, guys, that's what it is. It's so much more than just the full workout and the ins and outs of what just goes into designing, implementing, and execute the workout. Guys, it's mental, it's physical, it's emotional, and so much stuff is coming in within these little micro journeys, and I wanna bring that to you guys in full. So, gonna show you guys, though, today, again, piecing together kind of my full training split, what is really across a week worth of training, guys, six different training days, um, showing you kind of my fifth one up here. It's gonna be a lunge and split squat movement focus and a biceps isolation focus. So I'm gonna be working those supersets again, like you saw in the previous episodes. So just a steady nonstop flow, hitting those movement patterns, showing you a lot of different ex exercise variations on that split squat lunge side, and gonna kill these biceps, again, with a lot of different variations. Um, hopefully you guys can take a lot of pieces from this. We're gonna fucking kill it though, guys. Let's get after this. First exercise up is gonna be a two dumbbell side hanging single leg forward walking lunge. I'll show you how I break that down. We'll be talking this up, guys. And I'm gonna get kicked off with a seated bicep curl. Again, we'll talk this up, talk form, talk execution. Let's get after this, baby. You ready, Mikey? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, kicking off. Shit, we're a little heavier today. Oh man, let's go. Yes, oh, there it is, bro. Okay. Word of rap town as I got the city bumping. And frankly, they did not see that coming. I'm the perfect mix of the Gestapo and El Chapo with Picasso. So my skin is black. 30s. Here so we go. Drop the yep. Yep. Position, get my rock. Woo! Oh, great. I'm gonna get that top card. Going for 20 each leg right here. Breaking this down in a single leg fashion. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go 10 on one side, 10 on the other, then I'm gonna do it again. All walking, 30 pound dumbbells to start. Highest rep count on my lunges for the day, right here until we get the very end, you'll see that. But here we go. By tens, single leg forward walking lunge. Let's get it. in with that plan written up as a draft projected loads exercise sequencing oh yeah kill me baby okay so guys yeah you saw there 20 each side in total just slicing this up a little differently just paying attention to that so a single leg variation 10 on one 10 on the other then do it again 10 on one 10 on the other 20 total each leg lightest over there with the 30s so we're gonna drop those reps from there drive that load up 
bicep curl with a supination for half the set coming into the second half of the set. We're going hammers, nice and light, just chasing that pump, kind of like pump, warm up sets to start really on both sides of these, uh, this coin right here guys. Both sides of these uh, exercise equations here, getting things warm, getting the blood flowing. So kind of some warm up sets integrated into this actual workout flow, man. So uh, we're gonna go 32 total, 16 each side. So it'll be 16 total with the soup, 16 total hammer. Yeah, baby. Big squeeze. set ramp here on those walking lunges. Just going from 20, 18, 16 each side. Still half the set on one side, half on other, two rounds on it. So still same break and I'm gonna go with nines. Just pump it up to 35s, get the second set rolling, same thing. <sighs> Strapping up, these versa grips key. Grip intensive work on both sides of this coin. <sighs> Don't want that grip to fail out before my legs and my biceps do. So we're just gonna grip the fuck up and get this going by nines here. Single leg forward walking lunge. Whew. Just keeping that flow, right? Get it hot, keep it hot. Talk about that. Get that pump, get that burn, maintain it. Back and forth, steady, strong, methodical. Here we go by nine.
We're gonna drop it by two to 14s. Again, half the set with the supination, half with the hammer. Just spiking up from the 20s to the 25s. Good squeeze, no rush. Mind muscle movement connection, especially with something ISO. These biceps, super targeted, isolation in nature. No risk of injury, guys. Keeping it strict, keeping it tight. Letting the working muscle handle all of it, man. Here we go, 14s. Ooh. Ooh. One of my weaker variations in a sense that we're not gonna be able to use a whole lot of momentum right there. Seated, okay, so we don't wanna be swinging, right? Swinging the weight to get it up. So I'm getting a little movement in the elbow joint, but not a ton, it's just where I find that sweet spot when I finish that curl. But we'll get minimal momentum and going through a nice big range. You guys can see when I'm seated, that arm's hanging back behind my trunk. I'm able to sweep through a nice big full range of motion, which I can't necessarily get when I'm standing and I'm right here out of the gate. So, bigger range of motion, minimal momentum. That's why I'm starting lightest with it. 20s, 25s, I'll hit 30s for some 12s, and then we can scale up from there. But playing to the weaker variations from an execution standpoint, just going lighter, really squeezing, getting things pumping, and always fucking dripping. Gonna go up to the 40s here, last set of this single leg walking lunge before I switch that variation up. But yeah, gonna roll in here for 16 each side, so we're gonna hit this by eights, baby. Here we go. Yes. We fucking killing it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By eights.
notice on those lunges, oh, that knee touch, twirling leg knee touch on it. You'll see that with every single rep on all these lunge variations today. Real quickly on that, because I see a lot of people out there falling short of a knee touch. Let me explain to you why that is safe, guys. Perfectly safe. 90 degrees at our hip and knee. Very common angle, very safe angle for the hip joint and the knee joint to be at. When I am at the bottom end of that lunge, and I am 90-90, it's exactly where I am. 90, 90, 90, 90. Don't overstride and put too much of a stretch on this hip flexor. I don't want to be way out there. Again, about a 90. And guys, this is perfectly safe. It's also a checkpoint if you're controlling the knee touch. Are you too tired, is it too heavy, and you're banging that knee? It's a feedback for you. Maybe you need to go lighter or exercise more control on that negative. And guys, that is, to me, that's optimal and that's ideal. I see all kinds of iterations of that. So I would say don't overstride. Hit the 90-90. And also, I see a lot of people shortening up their stride too much, not getting a knee touch, and it looks something like this. Right? Where I have these super acute angles and I'm seeing some high level people do that. And if you wanna fuck your knees up long term, then go ahead and do that, right? I'll recommend a great physical therapist or surgeon. But guys, just trust me on this. Perfectly safe on these angles. I have all my clients doing this. All ages, all fitness levels, and I've been doing this for years. Knees are great, okay, joints are great, hips and knees, so Q in on that, all right? Gonna get this last set of curl with the 30s, last set of curls with the 30s, and we're gonna hit 12s right here with the soup and the hammer, baby. Whew, got it. Oh, yeah. Pump it up, pump it up. Going a lot higher than this today. Woo, here we go. Yep. Sets while nailing the loads for one to where we can't get to this point where we're about one to two to three, sometimes maybe it's even four or five out from finishing the set, and we're just burning. And then you just you find that poise and that confidence, and you just start to take your time even more because you're like, let's fucking get after this burn and fucking finish this set and own this. Like, again, I get like almost mad with it, but it's like that burn is such a good thing now. And to flip that switch mindset, it's perspective, it's like. It's not a bad thing to be hurting, burning, hurting, and in pain, guys. That's what we want, and we can push past that. I'm not talking about pain where you're injured. I'm talking about that burning the muscle and that working muscle where you know, hey, that's where you're getting to that sweet spot, and you're fucking killing it. That's how that progress is made. We gotta find that, guys. And I wanna say, with time and dialing in these loads, we're gonna find that with every single set of every single session. Let's get some subs, bro. Yes. Ooh. On to the go subs, bro. How you doing? Good to see you guys. Yeah, sure, good looking. Maybe while you're drinking that, you could kind of elaborate on uh, Fucking one, of, sweat. one of my favorite. Uh, Talk to me, bro. One of my favorite sweat. topics, like in running, yep. is that there's a difference between pain and discomfort. Yep. 
And we and we talk oh, yeah. about so much in, in fitness is work through the pain. Mm-hmm. But some of us don't know how to identify the difference between pain and discomfort. You right, bro. Feel pain. Yes, the pain, the pain. Yeah, when I say like you know, like when I've ever I said pain like in posts and stuff like sometimes I like to put that in quotes, right? Because pain is like I, we don't want pain, like in the sense that you're hurt or like if you kept going. Then you're gonna be messed up after the run or after the lift, right? But that discomfort is different. It's when you're challenged, and literally, you're just you are uncomfortable being in a state like being riled up. And I, I try and talk to, you know, it's an internal dialogue with myself, but it's a, a face-to-face conversation with you guys and you know with my clients where it's like, you know, I say that like keep your composure, like find that poise, like don't freak out. And it's rude because it's those moments, it's those moments and they can happen a lot in a session. Well, they should happen a lot in a session, but it's, it's, it's getting past those moments and pushing past those thresholds that are, it's game changing. It's game changing because we, if we keep, if we continue to fall short of that gate and, and don't push past it, guys, we're just going to be hard pressed to find progress that's noticeable. Results that are very, you know, that are gathered up at a rate where we're like, yeah, we're doing this. Like, and, and it takes that. Like, and it, that's what I say. Like, this is fucking, it's work. It's work. Like, I'm six sets in, and yeah, it's warm in here, but like, we, we get after it, right? And we're like, and our bodies are hot, and we just, we get it hot, we keep it. Like, it's gonna take that work. And I think if you're, if you're not willing to go there, dude, I don't know, maybe it's just not for you. You know, maybe, maybe it's just not for you. Again, so, and to each, to each their own, right? To each his or her own, but yes. Mm. Talk about this later, but shit. Ghost Amino, Ghost Size, Ghost Pump, Ghost Legend. Fuck. On it. The main four right there. Yeah, a little. Mm. A little burn in the mix, a new product of theirs. On some cardio days. Been loving that. And the whey protein. Put an IGTV out on that. IGTV out on that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Protein tastes amazing. We'll talk about this a little bit more. I'm gonna flip up the lunge variation and get stationary right here for just a little bit. Keep working two dumbbells. So, but gonna gonna just kind of step up the loading scheme a little bit. So I went 30s, 35s, 40s with the walking, right? 20, 18, 16. So I'm gonna start at 18 reps. I'm gonna go 18, 16, 14. Do a little stationary work because I'm gonna basically go again with the alternating single leg variation. What I'm gonna do those, I'm gonna do first half of that total set with a stationary forward lunge, one side, other side forward lunge. Then I'm gonna hit a split squat, a split squat, I'm going go back to that starting side, hit the split squat for the rest of the second half of the set, and split squat to finish the other side. Um, I'm gonna start working into some standing variations, you guys, on the bicep curls and keep ramping that load up. So I went 20s, 25s, 30s, and uh, I'm gonna pick it up just in stride, 35s, 40s, 45s and keep dropping those reps just slightly. Planning on doing an 11, 10, 9 pattern on these curls, all single, single curl with a supination standing, which I will feel much more strong with, and we'll keep ramping that up as I change these variations, so.
focus on that split squat, guys. So when I get stationary, see so that forward lunge, we're stepping out, pushing back. That split squat, that nice full extension in that front knee. So not partial, the full push through that knee. That leg is straight at the top end. Chest is up. Guys, notice too, hey, especially, so with all of my lower body work, at the end of the day, the way I'm pushing this lower body, so you've seen the squat movement focus, you've seen the lunge here. Lower body work done right. Lower body work done in the way that I spin it. That I spin it in here and beef with my clients, it's gonna get your heart rate up. It's a great form of what I call anabolic cardio, where it's resistance based work, but the heart rate is elevated. And that is an amazing formula for growth, progress, cardio, fat loss, obviously strength develop, power development, depending on how we're loading. So you guys will see this progression through the workout. So we can really get a ton out of doing this lower body work properly. So just know that. And that also alleviates us from having to do a shit ton of fucking traditional cardio, banging our hands to fucking treadmill when we don't need to. We can be so much more efficient getting these single sessions in and getting a ton more out of these lifts because we're programming some lower body work right which is a major, major driver, uh, ma major, major driver and stimulus for that cardiorespiratory challenge, that cardiovascular challenge, guys. So take note of that as I continue to move forward. But a big reason why I will mix and match lower body work with the upper body work, and on a, on a full like macro level within my week, a lot of lower body training in, uh, training is coming in as a main form of cardio. So, hell yeah. Let's get standing, Brock. I'm start with the 35s. Yep, with this. I don't even know how I look. It's all feel. All I feel is that working muscle right there. Maybe a little if I'm burning up, up in the shoulder, but really, it's all biceps. I might shift a little bit to the side, right? Naturally, I know I do that when I do my front raise work, some shoulder iso work. You guys find your sweet spot. Obviously, there's not a ton of extraneous movement with these exercises, but everybody's gonna move just a little differently. We have a little wiggle room in there in terms of individualization as long as, again, you're feeling a thousand percent that target working muscle. Just ramping up, same idea. We're gonna go 16s, stationary with the 40s, the forward lunge and the split squat. Cool, just ramping these loads up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Got it, bro. Yeah. Yes, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yes. Perfect, brother. Oh, sweet. Good angle right here, bro. We all right facing this way. Yeah, okay.
I say, you know, oh man, the reason why the heart rate's getting up and we're getting riled up from lower body work, it's just a ton of muscle that's being moved. There's very much a, a total body push to this lower body work if done right. So yeah, we can talk about the quads and the glutes and the hamstrings and I get that. But you guys are gonna get a ton of muscle involved in this mix. And when you're pushing these high rep sets, when you're pushing these big loads, man, that is gonna jack the heart rate up. You're gonna be building and you're gonna be scorching at the same fucking time. And it's amazing. Again, it's a pretty magical formula, guys, when you mix right, man. So dropping these just a little bit, I'm gonna go 10 each side. Still with that supination from the neutral to the supinated uh, with the supination pattern, okay? Strict and strong, man. Stacking this pump up, baby. Stacking this pump up. Feeling amazing. Oh, got it. Here we go. Ten each. Oh, grip up. I'm dripping. Dripping hard. Dang it, man. Ugh. Yep. Cool. Feeling incredible. Dang. 45s. Gonna hit sevens here. So 14 each side on that lunge split squat combo. And then pop a nine. Nine each right here. Curl with the suit. Oh, loving the pace too. You know, man, it's just a lot to be said, you guys. You know, you want to get in your flow, and that should be uninterrupted, man. You know, I get it. Check the phone. You know, I'll take my subs. But man, get in that flow and just fucking kill it. That flow state is just something you want to ride out, man. You want to ride that wave, yep, from start to finish. And stay in your zone. If anything, you just feel better and better as the session goes on. Ooh, we got sevens here. Woo! Oh, this way, brother. I just speak in words when I need the action. I will cut them off, I don't need the sessions. Single leg work, you guys. 
like when we do bilateral work, right, we're squatting, deadlifting, right, you come up for sets like that, it's a good thing still, a lot of muscle mass, both legs moving at the same time. Keep in mind, from a movement by movement perspective, a, a repetition in an absolute sense, perspective, you're doing double the rep, double the reps, the output's crazy with lunging and split squats. Whatever I'm doing on one side, I'm doing on the other. So when I do 20 reps, it's 20 each side. It's 18 each side, it's 16 each side. The output is tremendous, which is why I say, if you can become a good, solid, strong, proficient, efficient, great lunger and split squatter, and you can dominate that unilateral work, you're gonna change the game of your fitness. Flat out change the game because there's nothing quite like this from an output standpoint. So we gotta work on that. And we always gotta work on seeing where we're at. Right to left side, balance, no weak links. Last set of curls with the supination. Gonna hit that 90 side right here with these 45s. Keep ripping up. Damn! Got this. Boom. Even the bursa grips are starting to get slippery. Huh. We're good at that. Oh. Make it rain in here. sets in gonna get a little sups right here oh and just keep ramping up okay just keep ramping up these loads on both sides man killer let's talk this up though. boom fresh off the sups here we go ramp it up boom so we just hit clarifying 35s 40s 45s yes so we're going 50s 55s and 60s on the lower body end guys gonna continue with continue on with this single leg theme, breaking my sets down and working some single leg flows. So again, I'll reset the rep count. I'm gonna go 16, 14, 12 each side and do half the set on one, half the set on the other, two rounds like you've been seeing, but I'm gonna do single leg reverse lunges all the way through. Okay, again, not, not that I'm stronger necessarily with the forward lunge or the reverse lunge or the split squat or the walking lunge. They're about the same for me. So I could really mix and match these, these uh, loading schemes with any exercise variation, but I'm just choosing to flow like this, you know, in the high rep to the lower rep, driving up the load across these exercise variations. And I'm gonna reset with the barbell, which you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna drive into the hammer curl now, you guys. And hey, with the two dumbbell variations on the biceps, um, you guys, I just love those variations. I think big time because I can, I can put a lot of input into either side. A big focus in terms of the mind-muscle movement connection and just one side at a time, as opposed to going simultaneous, which we see a lot of people do. I can tell you, I, I pretty much almost always go single, single, alternating when I'm doing curls and I'm working two dumbbells. Now I'm gonna work another barbell variation, but I just love the mind-muscle movement connection I get from it. And again, I can clearly see how I'm feeling from side to side. And again, we want to tease that out. If we're always doing closed chain stuff with like a barbell, for example, guys, we're, we're maybe not gonna get rid of those imbalances from a strength power standpoint, a performance standpoint, and 
an aesthetic standpoint so that we know that both sides can handle the same amount of weight, same amount of volume, and we can have that symmetry and that balance from an aesthetic standpoint as well, not and, and a performance standpoint. So let's ramp this up, man. We're going, we're going, yep, we're going into these, these 50s. Oh, Lord! Is that song still playing? No, it's a new song, it's a new song. Here we go, baby. Yep. By my face. Don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all the day. Yeah. They just can't believe it, man. That's all they gonna say. See these plays up on my Spotify. That's money in the bank up on my face. Hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all the day. Yeah. They just can't believe it, man. That's all they gonna say. See these plays up on my Spotify. That's money in the bank. Should have started eight. See how we feel right here. Single, single hammer. Straight neutral. Definitely my strongest variation right here when it comes to curls. Maybe like right up there with that barbell variation, but keep it real stripped. Neutral the whole way through. Straight up, straight down. Find that sweet spot. Connect. We're going eight each. Woo! Curling, 
grip intensive, holding those dumbbells for such a long set on lower body. So you've got to be conscious of that and you don't want the grip to limit what the lower body can do. So as I'm going to go heavy, I'm going to top out of the 60s of this third set and then I will put the bar on my back so I don't have to worry about my grip at all, okay? Oh, going to bust. Oh, went 16 each, going 14 each side. So by sevens here. Oh, with these 55s. Fuck, man. Stacking up. Oh, baby, stacking up. Anabolic cardio. Nothing like a lunge, lunge day to get it lit up in this bitch. Here we go. Good angle here. Let's go, bro. We'll go here. Oh, we'll flip it up. Yep. Seven. Strict, giving a little umph though, a little umph, just enough to complete that rep and get that full range, but also keep that mind muscle movement connection nice and strong. A little pop, just a little pop, baby, just enough. Don't get sloppy, but just enough to execute these heavier sets. there though guys I mean try and get yourselves there you can nail these loads just a little trial and error to what you know by the end of that set man you were just that's just about it and real quick as an aside set your fucking weights down seeing all these videos man these guys man fucking dropping the 25 pound dumbbells you can lift it you can motherfucking set it down. Please. 
Let's go. <laughs> but everybody up in here knows that. Oh, yes. Guys, last set of reverse lunges. Balance one in. If anything, man, I'm just, what's pissing me off is right there, I'm right at the brink with my grip. So, it's fine though. Versa grips, game changers. I'm gripping up, top end of my hand at the, at the flush with the dumbbell, just in case I need to tilt it and just grip up that last little bit. But the time I'm getting that last leg, I'm feeling that it's, it's, you know, it's the lower body, but man, it's that grip too. But the, again, holding it for that long, guys, it's all part of this output and this demand when it comes to this type of lower body work done right. Here we go. Oh, we got sixes right here. We got sixes. Oh, 12 each side. So six, 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 six. Four sixes. see a distribution with the hammies and the glutes as well but also given a little bit more of that sheer stress when you're planning with a forward step and pushing back that sheer stress at the knee you know you are getting a little bit more knee dominant look with the forward lunge okay when we hit that reverse I love it as a very safe one that's knee friendly it's slightly more hip dominant we can get a little bit more of a lean with the trunk um, again, of course, the knees in, guys. Of course, like again, we're like splitting hairs here, but really getting the glutes, hammies involved, quads, yes, but I'd say to a lesser extent compared to that forward lunge or that split squat. So, in terms of knee friendliness, I love that reverse lunge as a heads up to you guys. You know, when you're picking those variations, again, I feel like the walking lunge is just a blend of it all. Um, keep that in mind, though, if you have a pathology at a certain joint or you need to strengthen a certain joint, right? So, Whatever it takes. Six each side, hammers. Gonna give this a little ump. Grip up. Fucking murder this shit. Here we go. Man, just grip it, man. I'm just fucking sweating so much. Fucking crazy. Uh, we're good though. About ready to get into the bar. Keep this shit pumping. Big pop here. Six each. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I get it, I 
Yeah. We're on it. We're on it. Ooh. Ghost Amino. Intra. All the essential aminos. BCAAs. So they're version one. It's fucking crazy. Badass formulation. They have V2, but still working this V1. Mm. Dirty. <laughs> guys wondering why it's still full. Watering that down a little bit. Two and a half servings in here. Water it down as I go and make that last, but still getting a big dose intra. The go size, muscle builder. Mm. Mm. It's out watermelon. Start drinking that about 45 minutes out. Same with the ghost pump. Mm. 45 minutes out. And then the legend. Oh, this is sour black cherry. Amazing. Mm. 45 minutes out. Like clockwork, man. Oh, depending on your level though, we can talk supplementation and what's appropriate. At my point here, guys, six days a week lifting, seven days a week training. You know, these four main ones have been go-tos here for quite a while. I've been running this and loving the effects from the consistency, which is the test, right? What's the consistency look like and, and what do these look like over time in terms of the effects downstream? So no magical quick fixes. You gotta put some to the test and fucking run that shit out. Let's, whip, let's flip this up, okay? So here's what I wanna do for the last six sets of lunges. I'm gonna hit a series of exercises here. Okay, and change the loading crest every set, but I'm gonna work the walking lunge with the bar on the back. I'm gonna work a, 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 a forward lunge, stationary forward lunge, and then a stationary reverse lunge. So what you'll see now though is just an alternating variation for all these, what I call the single single. So going leg to leg for all these variations now, but going walking lunge, forward lunge only, reverse lunge. And, oh, I'm gonna look at my log, but I think I'm hitting straight sets, a couple sets of 10 each side on it. and. Um, Load the bar from the back, gonna start at a buck 05. Try and work up to 135 for one final set on the forward walk, and as you guys will see, um, that'll be set 31 of this session. And gonna work into the bar a little bit on these curls. Kinda deload a little bit from where I just finished off. 60 pound dumbbells, 120 combined load. So I'm gonna back up to 105. I'm gonna work some straight sets here, straight sets here, and really try and go nice and heavy on the barbell bicep curl, three sets of five. Really just keep it strict, but get a lot from an activation standpoint on it. So, four bicep curls, and then I will finish with three more sets of one that's really strict, but we'll get there at the end. So, last 12 sets of the workout. You ready, Mikey? Let's do this, bro. Okay, here we go. We're set, those parts are set, man. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I love you guys.
Yeah. Forgot I was going 20 total. Turn back around, I went 12 out, 8 back. 10 east side, 20 total. Lunges on all these variations. Whew, bar set up here. Three final sets of heavy curls. Just a three by five. Now, I know that these first couple sets are gonna be a little sub-maximal, and that is fine. Just really getting a good squeeze. Again, gonna just save that kind of max all-out effort for that last set. That's plenty of activation and volume on the body right now. So, going smart, being smart with the heavy loading, right? This is just the deal sealer right here, okay? Try and go 105, 120, 135, and just give these sets some real strict, you know, umph and push, three by five, man. So, again, really getting the mind muscle movement connection with this set, and next one, and then we'll get a really, really good push on that final one, and give it some pop. But, yeah, three by five. Nice and strict, full stretch, big squeeze. stretch what I almost call like power curls man you know just a little bit of a pop but you still feel that great control coming out boom if I'm gonna some two and a half bump this bad boy up right here Woo. shit yep oh bump this up load it up 15 pound jump to about about 20 Bars are 25 pounds. They're all that's not a buck 20, man. <laughs> oh, 25 pound bars. So we account for that. safely get up on your back without using a rack. Okay, so anything really above 135, and I will, I will put, I will take it off the rack just to be safe. Think about that, okay, from an execution standpoint. Um, we're at 110 right now. Here we go. Yep. Yep. In case 
least nobody sold you today. I love you guys. I love you, fam. I appreciate you. Gotta stay in there, looks good. Take me one. I wasn't big on the big wheels when I was a kid. Got into the big wheels later on in life though. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 120, five again, baby. Five again, we're coming at it. Second set of five. Just a little bit of a ramp on that nervous system until I really, really just give it that nice, good final set here. Oh, feeling incredible. Got this, got this. Oh. Big squeeze. Same combined load as that last dumbbell set with the hammers. Big pop. strong though and that's a good feeling no matter where you're at just feeling strong guys perfect form great execution it's an amazing feeling fuck how much the weight is guys it's about how you feel man how you connect with that movement that you know you're doing it right and you're getting the most out of every single rep we don't have to be the strongest guys unless you're a power lifter Olympic weight lifter I get it and props to you guys are amazing let's be strong enough let's be powerful enough and let's get the job done perfectly right cool 115, stationary reverse lunge. Still single, single. Third set of six on this ramp here. Still sticking with 10 each side. Straight set to finish. But we're gonna give you that reverse lunge feel in an alternating fashion. Oh. Ah. oh, yep. This way, brother? That's fine. Okay, let's do it. Switch it up. right so for one that will alleviate the grip like we talked about bar on the back second thing to think about though bar on the back means you need the trunk stability and that core strength to be able to lock that bar into place lock your trunk into place and then move ra move around a stable trunk right so whatever angle my trunks at my spine is neutral I'm able to lock that position in 
and I can lunge around it. For me, and as you build, guys, as you build up, and we build that trunk stability, strength, that core strength, that endurance, locking in the bar on the back will be an easy thing. And these are great variations. These are variations, again, where you want to, when you want to load up heavier, right, and get a big, a bigger up load on your frame, as opposed to holding dumbbells, which will really challenge the grip, and you're probably limited by your grip, we got the bar on the back, and we kind of we kind of set it and forget it. I know that makes sense to you guys. So, love the barbell back as I'm going heavier. We'll cycle through that one more time and keep ramping up, but I'm gonna get this last set of curls. Well, with a bump up here, I'm gonna buck 35 on this. Yep, and then we'll smoke it from there. Oh, right here, bro. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yep. Oh. Think about this. Where's our buck? Oh, buck 35 is just tense. I'm getting all messed up. All messed up right here. Not using a 45 pound bar. We're good. Oh, yeah. Grab this 10 right here, brother. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. About 35 for five, man. Real strict. Give it a little hump, but always have that control through that pinch, right? Boom. Oh. Oh, man. Let's do this, baby. Here we go, Mikey. Here we go, fam. Come on. Ooh. That's ripping. Set of lunges, get some, get some real quick subs before we finish these last seven sets. Dude, even my shoes are fucking drenched, bro. Sorry to leave the marks, right? Look at that. <laughs> oh, like a little bird is walking in here. Oh, Ooh. rolling, huh? Yes. Ooh, last seven sets of the session. Ooh, about 20. Ah. Ooh. Walking lunge coming. Fourth set. Had a six by a 10 each side. 20 total lunges. Ooh.
Finishing that curl side, you guys, really strict. Half of that. Heavy set to finish. Heavy sets to finish with the bar. Gonna really just work on the details right here. Bring in some piston variation. You'll see on these curls. Oh, yes. Whew. Where are we starting? Where are we starting right here? Yes. Are we good on music? We run out of song. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. You're good, bro. You're good. You're good. Playlist complete. Oh, we got it. Okay, so with this piston right here, though, we're coming in for. Yep, what, what we'll do here is start from the top with it, and I'm just gonna work arm to arm with the supination. So I'm starting from the top, I'm gonna go with the supination for half the set. 12 target. Town as I got this city bumping. And frankly, they did not see that coming. I'm the perfect mix of the Gestapo when I'm Tapo with Picasso. Is it my skin is black? Oh, watch me drop the needle into the fetal position. Get my rock on. All friends want to get their talk on. Making excuses for why I made it because they hate to see me spot on. I just narrow down my targets right until I'm not gone. I've never needed to buy a necklace to get some neck while I'm checking my set. Like, no second guessing, you're not a contender.
last set on lunges. Reverse lunge coming. Damn, baby. This is our fucking time. Here we go. Oh. Oh, man. Yep. Oh. Here we go, baby. Oh, come in. Stationary, alternating reverse. Oh, I've gone from 105 to 130 here. 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130 across these last six sets before I get that last max set. But finding about that RM, man, for this 10 each side before we seal that deal. And my biceps are fucking smoked. You guys can see. Pretty much just pushing it to a failure point with the last curl sets. As Mikey just said, he missed that. I'm earning that squeal. Squeal like a little, like my five year old girl right there. Watching fucking My Little Pony or something. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Yep. Learn, man, 
Ow. To not, like, like we say, I say, like it takes work. And I get that, call it work. I swear, the day you can learn how to not perceive this as work, but to perceive it as whatever you want, this positive, that it's never a negative, it's you helping to achieve your goals, it's you helping to live a better life for your kids, to be the best version of yourself, it's you making progress, getting a step closer to your goals, whatever the fuck it is, guys, however you wanna slice it up, it's just perspective. Like, and I've never been so connected and known so well and internalized so well that saying that like, it's not work, like it's love. And I hope, my hope is that you guys can, you can feel that eventually. Maybe you do right now, you're watching this and you feel that and you already know what that's like, but you're gonna have to flip that switch. You're gonna have to turn to that mode at one point or another along your journey, or I'm afraid that you're gonna burn out, or you're gonna go up and down and you're gonna be off and on. This cannot be a chore for you guys. This is, it's fun. It's me getting better. And all that is at the end of the day is positivity and love and passion. Fucking A. Lightest load right here. I'm basically gonna try to take it half the set best I can. Maybe a quick set down, finish off that set. And then one more final max effort walking lunge set. Last two sets of the session. We're gonna get this. Man, clothes are drenched, socks are drenched, shoes are drenched. Hair's drenched, squinting like a little girl. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together. Here we go. Oh. Guys, 30s, 25s, and then 20s here doing so much with these light loads to finish, right? Because the hard work's already been done. The hard work's already been done. So we just kind of seal the deal right here, keeping it strict. And guys, hey, you know, I hit half the set. Fucking basically a failure. And don't be afraid to do a quick set down. If you're a failure man, hey, that's a great thing, guys. Failing is part of the recipe for success, man. Yep, we just, we just working through it. Right here, you're gonna try for a 16-16 split. Whew. Yeah, here we go. Walking one step right here. 
Buck 35, last set. Now, I'm gonna take this kind of to a max effort, like within reason, so 31st set. Oh, well, you know, it's shit, that was 15th set of biceps. My bad, I'm fucking delusional. 15th set of biceps. This will be my 16th set of lunges right here, so 31st set of the session. Again, though, 15th set of biceps, and just smoked, fam, smoked. So getting yourselves there, right? Intensity, sweet spot loading, you know, 12 to, let's say, 16 sets of work on one side or for a muscle group or for a movement, and if you've done it right, boom, done. Call it a day on that side. So gonna seal it here. I have a number in my head I'm gonna try and shoot for. I'm gonna hit that walking lunge. I'm just gonna take it one at a time. I'm gonna keep it strict. I'm just gonna kinda give it all I got, okay? You know, hit this final set, feel great about it, call it an amazing day. So I'm gonna back to the beginning of the runway, baby. Walking lunge, alternating. Let's see this. Woo! Last set, best set! Fucking on back. Here we go. There's 22. Oh. I can make it back. I know I can. leg there. 44 total. Nothing left. 31 sets. Lunge, split squat, movement, and biceps isolation, focus lift. 31 sets. You guys can see that output from the lower body side. Coupling the big muscle mass with the small muscle mass because that big musculature is going to create that hormonal environment, that natural anabolic hormone response, the growth hormone, the testosterone, and we're just flooding with that, that stuff, that good stuff, that, 
those muscle building hormones and then whatever we're throwing in the mix in terms of what we're stimulating guys it's all getting love so I love that big with that small and I also love it because the demand on that big side is, is so huge right it's big so we've only got so much energy right and we can only put out so much so bringing in too many big muscle groups when we're trying to work a high amount of volume on both sides guys that can get challenging okay so a big with a small I love that and I, I know you guys are seeing that again as I piece together these training splits and I'm really showing you guys how um, you know I'd say at the top end of my goals in terms of training goals right now is optimizing my muscle growth patterns so target muscle groups for me as a men's physique athlete as a fitness model and just an entrepreneur who is gonna walk his talk you know I'm trying to really build out the aesthetics of my upper body musculature so some targets being the chest the shoulders the lats you know the back but I know that my lower body training is huge in terms of me being able to make lean gains um, and also just getting that really total body anabolic response and I love training my legs uh, so again that performance driven side of me on top of you know what I want to do from an aesthetic standpoint and development standpoint aesthetically so I'm trying to do also at the end of the day too in terms of optimizing muscle growth yes top tier but I want that strength and that capacity I want that power I want that endurance I want that work capacity so you know it's all of that stuff but we just have to prioritize at the end of the day and set up our training in a way you know that we can optimize and maximize that guy so um, again I'm almost done showing you kind of my six day training split right now that's very performance driven and again driven for maximal and optimal aesthetics and muscle growth um, and then I'm going to start mixing in some fun stuff showing you stuff that I do with my VFIT fam and that I like to do as really a main form of cardio where we're talking resistance based anabolic cardio lifting weights getting the rate up fun things like that so um, yeah again I want to lift weights I want to do as little traditional cardio as possible um, get in here get in here into VFIT do what I gotta do, feel the love, the positivity, the passion, and then get out. So um, yes, guys, thanks once again for watching. I appreciate you, I appreciate your support, your positivity, your love, your encouragement. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, show it some love, leave any comments that you have below. Be sure to subscribe, stay up to date with everything that I'm dropping with my media team, QR Media, Kendall Rodriguez, Mikey, I love you guys, you're amazing, we're doing amazing things right now, so guys, dropping episodes, workout Wednesdays on, on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. And these, these videos, these fitness vlogs that we're calling and maybe we're gonna change the game with this and then VFIT Live on Saturdays at 3 p.m. So again, thanks so much for watching you guys. This is Dr. Matt signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, can, can you get it? Okay. Bro, because the way you finished that last time, man, was... Okay.